So I think the great news is that there are private independent folks who are monitoring things like this. If you look at CRED, for example, in the city, they've looked at the communities where they're making investments and where other investments have been made. And they've watched the violent crime numbers come down in those communities as we invest with those programs the state of Illinois does. And so we think that it's very important to track and trace, you know, the what happens with the dollars that we put into those programs. And it does prove to work. And then you see the reverse of it in the years prior, take the money away, violence increases. Well, you know, we've got two problems going on, or we have two ways of solving this. One is the immediate uh, reactions to what's happening with crime. The second is the root causes. And uh, I think we keep confusing the two things. Uh, we think that we can keep throwing more money at these violence prevention programs when what we're what we're not doing is saying, hey, let's put a deterrence on crime. And so we're not helping the police police. We're not prosecuting. Uh, and we're 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 actually uh, you know handcuffing the police when it comes to, to to doing their job, whether it's you know not doing foot chases, not doing car chases. Uh, we've got the safety act now, which which uh, is allowing more criminals to be on the streets. So I, I say we need to do number one first, which is you know control the crime on the streets today. And then number two, figure out how we, we uh, att approach the root causes, because the root causes are important, uh, but it's not about throwing money at it. It's about doing the right things. This happens to be um, Gun Violence Awareness Month. This budget makes significant investments from Chicago to Cairo, from Pembroke to Peoria, in ensuring that our communities are safer because of the investments that we're making in programs like youth employment, programs that we're uh, ensuring that we're investing in, like violence inter intervention, violence in, uh, prevention, these kinds of concepts, after school programming, these are the things that when you see safe communities, you see a plethora of these kinds of concepts along with economic opportunity. Right. So, so, you know, they're taking all this money. We already have a tough time with the budget, as we know. And they're taking this money and, and, and you know, doing things which might in the, in the short term, they might alleviate uh, crime. They might allevi alleviate murders. Uh, because they're you know they're giving money to groups to say hey get out there and engage let's let's find out who the bad guys are let's let's uh, work on a lot of the you know mental health issues all kinds of stuff right um, the problem is is those aren't those aren't structural ways to help the problem and and when you look at this you know creating jobs for 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 youth in the summer uh, yeah it all sounds good but that's government spending more money on government programs which aren't one sustainable and two nobody knows if they ever work because they, they, there's there's no real proof of that. What needs to happen is real job creation, real opportunity, better schools. And, uh, you know, I look at this, I was looking at the data across the country. For the 15 largest cities, we have the highest black unemployment rate in the nation. That's a real problem, which has, you know, it's not about crime, it's about opportunity. And when there's no opportunity, well, you get more crime. Um, same thing on poverty. We have the second highest poverty among the 15 big cities. And, you know, and we're, we're one of the most equity, uh, equity focused uh, states and cities in the country. So uh, we have a real problem of creating opportunity and, and the money would be better spent creating real opportunity rather than trying to just tax people and send it to programs which uh, are unproven. And, and, you know, when we're at six year high in violent crimes right now, it's not about money. We don't have the right strategies.